This is Peter Bruninger reporting from AV Showrooms. We're on a location shoot for Adirondack Audio. Adirondack Audio is a dealer serving the Northeastern United States. They have a large showroom store in Queensbury, New York, another showroom in Vermont, and a by appointment showroom in Brooklyn. Adirondack's about nine years old. They started off as an install company for security and smart homes. And uh, two years in, Jason Chaparis joined the company. Jason loves music. He introduced to the Northeast numerous brands that are new to the United States, Solines Turntables, RS Audio. He became a big dealer for Triangle. He sells Luxman and numerous other brands. Today we're going to be focusing on an install at a cabin in the Adirondacks. So you can consider this if you have a home at the shore, home in the mountains, second system in your home, or simply a primary system where you don't want to spend twenty to hundreds of thousands of dollars. This system that we're going to review retails for less than seven thousand dollars. Now you guys know me, I love my million dollar systems. How does a system at this price point compare to systems that we're used to reporting on? That's one question we're going to answer today. Before we do so, let's talk about the products. The amplifier is by RS Audio. It was founded in 2013 by Milamir Trozik. Nickname is Mickey. Mickey loved audio his whole life. Jumped into it with both feet in 2013. Started exhibiting at CES. You'll see a video we have shot from CES 2017. I first met him in Munich. It's about three or four years ago. He has a beautiful eye for design, as you can see. He mixes the elements of leather with wood. This amplifier is the 140650. It's a 50 watt per channel amplifier based on 6550 output tubes. 12 AU7s sit right here, function as the phase splitters and drivers for the 6550s. Now, you can run a pair of 6550s like they have here in push pull, so there's four all together, up to 100 watts in output power. Mickey chose to not run them so hot, running about 50 watts, so you're going to get lots of tube life off of this. This is an integrated amplifier, so it's simply a volume control and a switch to four inputs. It comes with a remote control that it mutes and adjusts the volume up and down. Very simple. Very, very, very simple amplifier. The loudspeakers, small in size, big in sound. They're from Triangle Audio. They're from the Esprit series EZs. So they're relatively small in size. It's 6 by 10 inches deep by 12 inches tall. They weigh just under 6 pounds. Very easy to move around. We have them on very solid stands so that they attach well and are grounded well to the floor of our cabin. They're 90 dB efficient. They have an impedance dip at down to 3.8, but it's an 8 ohm nominal load, so it's relatively easy to drive. So this is the perfect match made in heaven. You have a 50 watt per channel tube amplifier, a 90 dB efficient mini monitor speaker, and it's wired together with Kimber ATC speaker cable. I had no idea that a system this size could be so room filling. And you're going to find out next. Now for our listening session, we're using two CDs. We're using Chasing the Dragon 2. Mike Valentine, uh, outside of London, is a recording engineer. He's recorded a number of sample tracks. We're going to use a drum solo, a piano, Piano track is Mozart, Piano Sonata number 15. We'll have an excerpt of that. 
and then Mike's going to vocally take us through the differences between two microphones so you can see the resolving power and hear for yourself of this system. Then we're going to follow up with a full track of music from Michael Jones and it's beautiful vocal jazz sung in French and it is just captivating. So on to the listening session because how can you tell just by pictures or words what a system sounds like until you hear it for yourself. Here we go. try a different component in our hi-fi system, whether it's a cable, a table, a phono preamp, a CD player, a cartridge, we're used to hearing subtle differences between them. I thought it would be fun to go right back to the very beginning of the signal process, the microphone itself, and listen to the difference between two microphones. I'm chatting to you at the moment on what is in effect an AKG C12. This is a large diaphragm condenser. You can change its polar diagram remotely and it's absolutely a, the most wonderful microphone on female vocals and to be used over an orchestra. Let's go forward 50 years, because that's how old it is, to a modern equivalent. This is made by DPA. It's a DPA 4006 and is typical of the microphones the B would use, for an example, above an orchestra for all the proms. Isn't it interesting? The difference I hope you can clearly hear. Both mics do the same thing. This one is the original AKG C12 and this one is the modern transistor equivalent. I think I prefer this one, which is the beautiful old valve microphone, in comparison with ultra-modern technology, this one, which is the DPA4006. Have we learned a lot in 50 years? Maybe we have, maybe we haven't. Fais-moi tourner au monde 
tourner au matin speciality that this system delivers? The amplifier has been reviewed by other reviewers. Uh, one reviewer said that he thought it was better in depth than width. I disagree with that. I think that it made the speakers totally disappear. And I, it's probably because of the choice of loudspeakers. They're small two-way designs. They're known to disappear. Now, the speakers roll off 3 dB down at 55 hertz. So, the thing that got me was when I looked at the specs before we shot the review and before we spent days with the system was how were we going, how was I going to feel about the bass? Well, that's the shock. I'm shocked at the fullness of the bass that the system delivers. And there's like an effervescent quality to the sound, as you heard. It sounds, uh, the images are floating in space in this beautiful cabin. And it fills the cabin. You can be at all points of the cabin, and it's just as if music is just coming from the room itself. So taken together, the 6550 from Aris, EZs from Triangle, the Kimber 8s from Kimber Cable. We have three countries represented here. Triangle's made in France. Aris is from Serbia. And Kimber is a U.S. brand. So, how does this system compare to the million dollar systems that we usually report on? It is so enjoyable. It is so musically fulfilling that you completely forget that you're not listening to a million dollar system. That's how good the match is between these speakers and this amplifier. I've always thought that they had that perfect balancing act between detail and musicality. Uh, this is mid-range for triangle, and of course it's a small model. So we're getting this kind of sound at this level. I can imagine what sound we would get if we stepped up the size of the loudspeaker, or maybe had a larger amplifier. But this is just, it's astounding for less than seven thousand dollars you can fill your listening area you can take it on a road trip it fits in two small boxes so if you have it in your apartment in new york city or milan or berlin and you have a summer home you don't have to risk leaving your equipment at your summer home while you're not there because you can simply box it up plunk it down. Our front end was a computer. We use a DAX on the computer just for ease of carry. So again, folks, two small boxes on the run, set up in less than 20 minutes, and we filled our cabin with music. So I encourage you, reach out to Adirondack Audio. They have a vast selection of brands, but I'll tell you, Here's a place to start. Auris and Triangle. A match simply made in heaven. Peter Bruninger reporting 
for AV Showrooms. Thank you.